so hi and welcome back and I was meant to start this video in Bedford but the other little camera I've got just decided not to work in fact it was something to do with the memory card so I'm actually have some pancreas at the moment by if I turn around you'll see uh, the Eurostar behind me and um, I'm not going out to Europe in any way shape or form on the Eurostar I'm going on another trip so I'm going on a ship I've always wanted to do to a place that I've never really wanted to go to, which is kind of weird. And I've got some uh, Kodak Tri-X in my Olympus Omen 20, uh, which I'm taking with me. And I'll take some shots along the way. And you'll get some hints as I'm going where I'm going to. But let me just turn the camera around so you can see where I am. So, while I'm here, because it's a few hours before my, my train is due to go, I've checked, it seems to be running, which is a good thing after the disaster I had when I went to Wales, and I'm hoping that isn't going to change, I hope that I can, you know, the trip will still go ahead. So what I'm going to do is, I've got to go to a few Doc2 locations to film, and I'm getting some clips for uh, locations of Doctor Who, um, for my video that's coming out which will be on my website, on my Doctor Who Tours website. So I'm literally just um, using up the time now to go to them. I spent all, all morning, spent all morning looking up different locations. So I believe this is John Bitcherman. Um I don't think I'll, I'll take any photographs here at all, to be honest with you. I think I'll leave it until I get further out and about when I'm doing different things and to where I'm going, because if everything goes to plan, I should be staying there overnight. So I just sat down with my first Greg's. I don't know how many I have today. Mind you, it's uh, 20 to five in the afternoon. So that may give you a hint. If I'm, if I'm not in any hurry to get where I'm going, it may give you a hint to what I'm gonna, what, you know, what the uh, thing is I'm doing. So, but anyway, it's my first Greg's and uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty more as the day goes on. So I hope you can hear me. I'm actually at the station I need to be at, my train, which is later on. And it's now eight o'clock and I've still got a three hours, 45 minute wait for my train. And it shows it's running, so I can only hope. So I'm gonna go and put something to eat and then come back and uh, yeah, you'll see if it all works out. Okay, so the beast has arrived. So I'm off to Penzance on the night sleeper. It says boarding. But how? <laughs> I don't know where my room is, I don't know what it is, you know. So I've got the actual uh, uh, a berth for the night. And uh, it's a case of walking down and finding out which one I'm in. I've got it in my head, I'm in F for some reason, but we'll find out. But it's amazing, this shot looks really, really cool. We'll be down there. So, it's um, getting on towards half midnight, and yes, I'm on the night sleeper, and uh, going to Penzance, and uh, as I said earlier on, it's been like one of those trips I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. One of those ones that I forgot about I wanted to do, I remember dreaming about, oh, what would be nice to be out, you know, so late at night and do all these things, and it just disappeared, and then it came back to me a little while ago. And since all the troubled times, I probably said earlier on on the video that I've always wanted to do a trip like this. Um, so yeah, nice little room with a bed, uh, my little backpack with my cameras in, and uh, yeah, so we better see anything out the window, I don't think. No, nothing at all. So, a very good morning to you, and uh, I didn't sleep very well at all, I've had about two hours, uh, but... Uh, Breakfast has just arrived, so it's, I think it's a sausage blonde, some coffee, and some biscuits and some sugar and milk. Yeah, everything you need. 
to get you started. And then uh, <laughs> it looks like the weather's pretty crap as well. But uh, yeah, very pretty. Other than the solar panels. into the uh, hotel and it's funny when you watch the other youtubers and they talk about you know what the, you know you see the videos I, I saw one as I say the other uh, day from uh, planes trains everything and he did a video about the downtime he has and stuff and it's like yeah I had a two and a half hour wait before I could check in and um, having arrived in Penzance at eight this morning and going to um, Land's End and then it being really, really quite windy and rough. I took some shots out there, which you see, which you'll see, and um, then come back and realise, you know, it's only half past one. I've got a, I've got until four to check in. Thankfully, they let me check in a bit early. But I see it, you know, and uh, you know, all being well, I'm travelling back tomorrow morning back to work and uh, getting on with the the day job as it was. But uh, I'm in a little. Uh, no, rather big hotel called the Queen's Hotel in Penzance, and uh, let me just show you out the window and see what see what it's like. Let's flip this around so I can see myself. There you go. So that's oh, that's uh, my current view out of the window, which I think is really, really, really nice. So don't think you see much down that way, but there you go. So that's what's happening. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to be up around seven half seven have breakfast and then i'm going to go out and try and take some shots before i catch my train back to london and then it's like a five hour trip from here back to back to london and then back home to bedford anyway i'll catch you a bit later on or in the morning <music> Good morning to you from Penzance Station. I'm um, actually going back an earlier than I was expected because I found out that my ticket, although a super off peak, was, a, was uh, able to use the 10 past 9 instead of the 20 past 10. And I really wanted to get back early because uh, I'd have, if I'd have gone back later, I'd have hit the rush hour. Had a great time in Penzance. Uh, stayed at the Queen's Hotel, which is quite interesting. Um, obviously, a very Victorian star hotel and a bit quirky, but I really enjoyed it. Anyway, so, uh, 
yeah I'll probably talk to you back along the way at some point but uh, for now um, I hope you've enjoyed or enjoying this video